Hello everyone, welcome to Shirley Silver Review of Fast 7. So Fast 7 has all the cast from previous films, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, The Rock, Michelle Rodriguez, Therese, Ludacris. Then we have a few newcomers. So Paul Walker's brothers fill in for a few scenes and we also have the new hacker and creator of God's Eye, known as Ramsey. We also have Kurt Russell as the boss of the team and stay from seeking revenge for his brother. So this film, Betty still doesn't have a memory, but Dom is trying to help her remember, and also Brian and Mia are enjoying being pets. And so Stephen delivers a bomb to the house, they have to leave their home. Stephen also hacks the rock's computer, causing a really cool scene where they fight, and the rock plunges out of his window, smack into the car, and it looks so painful. And he ends up in hospital. And we have this um, police security woman from 5 and 6. So then they're at the funeral of Hans and we're seeing these two videos as they're just crashing their cars head first into each other. And it just looks so cool that we've seen. And then we find out Kurt Russell is here to help them find out about God's Eye. And I like the idea of God's Eye. So to get to Ramsey, they have to parachute their cars from a plane onto a rock. I like this scene, it's so cool, they just fly out of this aeroplanes, the cars. Um, in the features we see how it's done, so it's really cool. Um, Roman is like floating in the air, so he doesn't land properly. And we get really, really cool stunt scenes where Brian's like trapped into, in the bus that's going off the clear. And he has to get out before it goes off the edge. And he's like running up the bus and then Michelle Rodriguez's car's like at the end and he dives onto the back of it and just like that's it. And Vin Diesel drives backwards off a cliff which he should have died but it looked really cool and he doesn't die and he doesn't even have a scratch on him. So they find out Ramsey doesn't have God's eye and have to go and get it from a party and the scene shows Letty fighting this really really big bodyguard. A woman has to entertain the party. It's funny. Tej and Ramsey hack into the security system and Brian and don't have to get God's eye. They Stefan comes in after a while, like shooting his gun and Brian and Dom have to like escape so they drive the car out the window into like three buildings and we see them fall into the other one, crash through the window into the next one and then they have to get out the car quickly to stop themselves dying because there's no more buildings to crash into and we see Dom rolling like right to the end it's really scary so then the end fight scenes are cool we have Hobbs helping out he just gets out of hospital and bursts out his cast and this is really cool and then he gets like gun he's shooting at this helicopter and they're all trying to like get connected to God's eye again and Dom's like fighting Stephen with these like wrenches and the clinks of it make you cringe because it's like oh my god this might really really hurt but it looks so cool and Dom nearly dies and Letty's like I remember everything and Dom wakes up again so the end we get a nice tribute to Paul Walker, we see him again playing as they drive off in different direction. Okay guys, I love this film, just the fight and the stunt. They should have died so many times, but they didn't. And uh, Hobbs is so cool and Stephen is so cool. Um, there's humour in this a lot more than 5 and 6 if I remember, I can't remember much. It's perfect for the film, I love these, I really really like this film. And with the CGI Paul Walker and the brothers, I didn't notice. I didn't notice some scenes were shot darker, like um, when Kurt Russell's like helping kill the people, when Steph was just sat there eating, and Paul Walker just like rolls in on like a skateboard and disappears quickly. And I don't think that that was the real Paul Walker. Because that seems like really dark and really quick. But. It doesn't really take away from 
the scene, the action and like shooting and stuff, you can still really see that. So guys, I love this film, I've watched it loads and loads of times, I have it on Blu-ray and we'll be reviewing the feature shortly. Give it a 5 out of 5. Okay guys, did you like Verse 7? What did you think of the tributes of Paul Walker and Sinchi Guy? Did you notice? Comment your opinions below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.